Hello everyone, today we will learn a very interesting topic which is syllogism. Although this topic comes under category of logical reasoning, but the principle of syllogism can be applied in different parts as well like verbal ability. So the, all the principles which are applicable to uh, syllogism are applicable in verbal ability, quantitative aptitude everywhere. Now let's see what is syllogism. Syllogism is part of deductive reasoning. Now deductive reasoning is when we have logically certain conclusions. Now what I mean by logical certain conclusions is that conclusion which are definitely true. Okay, so in certain cases, let's say we have A implies B, B implies C, then we can always say A implies C. So this is certainty. All the conclusion, all the reasoning which are not part of deductive reasoning are called inductive reasoning. So examples of stereotypes, examples of prejudice, all these are inductive reasoning where you are drawing uh, conclusion from certain statements which may or may not be true now let's look go into uh, details of this topic so under syllogism we have to study four types of statements the first statement is all a r b now it is also called universal affirmative statement why it's called universal affirmative statement because the uh, the statement is true for all the elements of a so that's why a is inside b and I shaded uh, the region, the region uh, about which we are talking. Now, some A are B. Here, we are not talking about all the elements of A. We are talking about some elements of A, which are common with B. So that's why it's called particular affirmative. Uh, so the common region between A and B. Next one, some A are not B. So we are talking about elements which are not part of B. So this is all called particular negative. So we are not talking about the whole part. We are talking about a specific part. Next one is no A is B, which is universal negative. We are talking about all the elements of A. Now I'll go back to statement two and three again. Okay, we, we have to understand these statements very clearly. So I'll give you an example. So let's say if I'm in a room and I know one person is from Delhi and I don't know uh, about anything about remaining 49 people in the uh, that room so I can make the statement that some persons in this room are from Delhi because I know only one person still this that statement can be made we are not certain about what is happening with remaining 49 people they may or may not be from Delhi similarly some uh, a are not be example of this if one person is from Delhi and I don't know any uh, about other 49 people I can make the statement some persons in this class uh, this room are not from Mumbai so that is how we have to understand these two statements now the uh, last part of this video here we have seen a meaning of these four statements so here we are talking from A to B now what can be conclusion drawn from B to A so if we say all A are B logical conclusion of this will be some B are A. So some elements part of B are also part of A. Coming to the second one, some A are B. If you are talking about from B to A, the relationship from B to A is again some B are A. Whenever we have some not statements, there is there we cannot draw any conclusion. So here no conclusions possible from B to A. Coming to the last part, no A is B, is obviously no B is A. Okay. One more important thing, whenever we are drawing conclusion, uh, if you see, let's say we have some A or B, so if I change the statement, I write some B or A. If I am changing it again, I will write some A or B. Now look at all A or B. If I change the statement, I will get some B or A. If I change it again, I will get some A or B. So if you see, there is some information loss. So, if we are to draw individual conclusion from the statements, we'll uh, change all A or B at the end. So, if there is no other way possible, then only we'll change some all A or B to some B or A. So, that is what about the uh, syllogism. Okay, basics of syllogism. We have four types of statements, and these are their logical conclusion. Thank you very much.